Thank you for your interest in learning more about peripheral nerve stimulation and the Sprint PNS system. As you may know, pain is perceived in the brain in response to signals that travel up the spinal cord from branches in the trunk and limbs. These branches are called peripheral nerves, and they travel throughout the body sending messages to the brain while simultaneously receiving instructions from the brain. The Sprint PNS system delivers tiny electric pulses to these peripheral nerves for up to 60 days. Depending on your situation, your physician may advise you to use Sprint continuously or only for a specific period of time each day. But in either case, you can participate in normal activities, including any physical or occupational therapies your doctor may have prescribed. The FDA cleared Sprint system is the most rigorously researched PNS system available and it is backed by a significant body of evidence demonstrating pain relief that often endures long after the therapy ends. Next, it may be helpful for you to hear directly from a former Sprint patient. Before I had the Sprint device implanted, I had imposed a lot of restrictions on myself. I could walk for maybe half an hour. That would be about it. I couldn't sit or stand for any extended period of time because both of those activities aggravated the pain. The doctor suggested the possibility of doing a, a radio frequency ablation, which is a, a treatment where they, they have a high frequency radio probe and they actually burn a hole in the, in the nerves that are transmitting the pain. A side effect of that could be a weakening of my back muscles. I had the Sprint device implanted exactly five months ago. I'd been told that it could take up to a couple of weeks before the device would do what it was supposed to do. Uh, that wasn't my experience at all. The moment that I was out of the operating room, the pain was gone. And for the two months that the device was implanted, I had zero pain. Since the device was implanted, I've been able to go on hikes again. We were able to drive to Sun Valley, Idaho during the summer. That was two days of seven hours of uninterrupted driving each day. I found that apart from the, the fact that I got essentially 100% pain relief over the last five months, at least as important for me was that during that period, I haven't had to take an opioid pill even one time and the, the result has been un unbelievable. The Sprint system does not require surgery or permanent implantation. The therapy is delivered by a lead, a tiny, flexible, thread-like wire placed near the nerve your doctor has chosen. Lead placement is generally done on an outpatient basis using only a local anesthetic prior to lead insertion. The lead is connected to a matchbox size wearable stimulator that weighs about one ounce. A small controller allows you to turn the stimulator on and off and to adjust its intensity. The lead exit site is covered by a waterproof bandage that will allow you to shower, but you should not bathe or swim while the lead is in place. The bandage should be changed as advised by your physician. Thank you for taking a moment to learn about Sprint. Please talk with your doctor or the Sprint representative about any additional questions you may have before scheduling your procedure.